a twist. Who are you? Who are you? Hey! I think I'm gonna pass out. All my toes in his mouth. I can't get me out, which is why I've just had them done. One, two, one, two. Check, check, one, two with the bike is on. Do you remember the Masonic? The pub? Yeah. Um, I know I know where it is. Yeah, so like when we were 17, so we weren't old enough to like go out drinking legally, but they used to serve us in there and they never, they never ID'd us. We used to go in and then it was every, every, every Friday or every like Saturday, they had uh, this guy on trying to MC. I was like rapping. Yeah. And it, the whole rap, it would just play a song and he'd just go, check, check one, two. Check to see if the mic is on. Check. Stop it. And then you couldn't hear. And then it was like, I'm down at the baseline, but a bit of baseline, did a bit of baseline, did a bit of baseline, but a bit of baseline. And then you're like, Was he a garage MC? I don't know what he was trying to do, but for our, so whenever I see like check one, two, it just takes me straight back to that. Takes you straight back to the day. It takes me straight back, me and Tickle in the Masonic. Check. We used to walk over and do it. Check one, two. Check to see if the mic is on. I can't cope. That's my story anyway. I haven't got one. No. No. I have not got one. Should we get going? Here we are. Episode 16. Sweet 16. Five pence change. I am John. I've remembered my name this week. And I am Michelle. And you've remembered your name this week. I remembered it last week too. I just forgot. I had a moment. I'm a clever bird. I just had a proper moment. It's been... <clears throat> so long since I've last seen you, at least 24 hours. We've had Mother's Day in between. We have. Did you have? A, did you do anything for your mum? Yeah, she was in work, so I went in and told her to make me a coffee. <laughs> oh, <laughs> imagine having to work on Mother's Day. She was, what she a little was, trooper. <laughs> she was in. Um, she was in work, so I was like, oh, I'll go in and go. I, I mean, it's not out of the ordinary. I go most times because, yeah. like, she makes a belter mocker. And, and she's your mum, and you love I mean, yeah, to see her. Yeah, of course, there's that as well. That's yeah, of course, that, that's 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 that just comes that comes without first. saying. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> comes yeah, without yeah. saying. Uh, but she, she, I don't really. If I was like to go Costa, I wouldn't order a mocha. But I know my mum hates making them. <laughs> so <laughs> so, so you I go, do a really good one. So I just go and buy. But I know how much it pisses you off. Uh, can I have a mocha, please? And she's like, "You don't do that because I don't like. I don't like making them." I was like, "I know, but." Oh, bless so yeah, her. she was in work, so I went to go see her. Um, have me a little coffee, we had a little chat, mm. and then I told her, do, do you want to go out for tea? And she was like, oh, I'm in here till, I think it was like four. I said, well, tell you what, come round mine, I'll cook you tea. Oh. So um, I made her favourite dish that I can make. Oh, like turkey dinosaurs and chips. Crispy pancakes, loved it, wolfed it down, council of <laughs> state cuisine. No, I, she loves, I make, um, I make an amazing <laughs> moussaka. Do you? Yeah. Yeah. I'd, so it was one of those lockdowns, you know, when everyone was like cooking yeah. in lockdown. Um, I got a recipe for misaka because I, I enjoy it, and <laughs> <laughs> smashed it out. And she was like, oh, "I could just eat this every day." Oh, she loves I love it. Her. So I don't make it all the time. It's a special, special occasion, occasion, special occasion dish. And I, and I just thought, you know what? She's been in work all day. She's been dealing with absolute idiots because although she she works she works in a little coffee shop mm. at a train station, and um, she. She just dealt, dealt with idiots all day. I was like, come here, come round after work. I'll make you tea. She was like, what are you going to make? I was like, I don't know. I'll have to just wait and see. It'll be a surprise. No, like, like your mum is on for, like on Christmas. Yeah. like, oh, I'll have to see what Santa brings. <gasps> it's kind of like that for Mother's Day. I was like, oh, I'll have to see what's cooking in the kitchen. Oh, So she come round, um, got her a card off me and another one off the kids. And I always mm. put like a funny message in it, which is like a little in, inside personal joke between me and my mum. Yeah. Um, is it the same one every year or? No, I, 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 change, I change it up. To be fair, I could be a bit of, I could be a bit of a prick. Like my sister's a bit of a nightmare, right? I'm not going to start slagging people off. Right? But when it comes to like Christmas and that, yeah, <laughs> there's always like an excuse. My mum will kill me for saying this. <laughs> and, uh, Do I, don't know if you, I don't know if you can hear it in my voice. There's a bit of like, a bit of I'm getting I, I probably will. Well, she be, but my sister, it's dead funny. Instead of buying her a present, she just, she just comes with an excuse of why it's not there. 
So like she'll be like, oh right, I have got you a Christmas present, but I got delivered and it it, it went it went to the uh, it went to the, sh- uh, the the post office by us to be collected, and they're renovating it. It's closed until after Christmas. So <laughs> as, as soon Stop as it, it. Op- honestly, it's like 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 as soon as it opens, I'll go and collect. I'm it. gonna I'm gonna go and collect it. Oh. <laughs> Don't know how far I can go in with this without 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 causing a bit of riffraff between the family. The funniest one was like she bought us something and then say like she bought us something for twenty quid. She was yeah. like, "Oh uh, yeah, you like that? Yeah, can I kind of borrow twenty quid?" It's good now because I had to buy you a lot. <laughs> <laughs> so on this year's, I, I always bought something. So on Mother's Day a few years ago, I was like, "Have you got mum a card?" She was like, "No." I was like, "Don't worry, I'll sort one for you." So she had no idea what this card was. Oh my god! So I got my mate shout out um, Little Menace Crafts to because they were doing personalized cards. Yeah. Uh, to make to make one that says hi, can I borrow twenty quid? Because this card was expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. And then on the inside, it put oh, and by the way, Happy Mother's Day. <laughs> I love that. So <laughs> my mum opens it, <laughs> and my mum's laughing. And Natalie's like, she's not seeing the card. She doesn't know. Oh, stop. And there's just no shame. She was just like, I don't get it. Did she not? <laughs> no. Me and, and our John, my mum's boyfriend, John, absolutely howling. Because <laughs> like, she sat there going, honestly, I just, I just, I just don't get it. Like, is it a joke? Like, <laughs> yeah, a fucking big one. So this year, I just wrote, uh, this card cost me uh, £2.60, could I borrow a fiver? Sound, so at least you're going to be quids in. Yeah. My cards, I took a picture of the cards I got my mum. Um, I don't like pure sensible ones. Like, mm. Same, do you know when people, some people are all for cards, right? Mm. And for me, a card is just a holder for the money you're about to put into it. If you're yeah. not putting 20 quid in that card, don't fucking bother. Text me. Bother, just text me. <laughs> I, they just go in the bin they anyway, do. don't they? they? I, so... When, and, and, and they know people probably get into the cards mm. and they go through them all to find like the one with the nicest message or the yeah. prettiest picture and all that and you do you but unless yeah. you're putting 20 quid in it don't waste your time <laughs> just i went with this one so you can see that it's got like the stars <laughs> my mother I'll, I'll let you explain it to the listener and it says amazing lady proud to know her fantastic cooking skills and always gives the best advice it would have been five stars. However, despite my age, she still tells me off. <laughs> Class. And she does. So she got four out of five stars highlighted. <laughs> and she loved it. Um, took her out for tea as well with me, me dad and my sister. So we went for steak. That was lovely. Um, but I had, went to Trasco on you, Egbeth it, Road. Yeah, you love that. It's absolutely beautiful. And you know what? I feel like I've not been, well, I've not been this year. And it was just phenomenal, you know, when you just prop and enjoy like, something. I've not been this year. I've never it been is more March. happy to, <laughs> to pay for food. I was like, oh my God, this was so good. It was good. Um, but I bought my mum a watch for Mother's Day. Hers are broken and she bought like a little cheap one. And I was like, babe, that's that's not fucking okay. Like, I swear it was going to turn a wrist green. Like, it was horrible. Did it tell the time? It did, but it was just, it was just cheap. She yeah. just bought it just to you tide it over. Much. Um, and I was like, oh no, I don't like that. So I got it the same one as me, Daniel Wellington. Absolutely love it. But I got it in gold with like a lovely mother of pearl face on it. Appropriate. And um, I get a text message this like three, four weeks before Mother's Day. Oh, Shell, I've just opened a package and I don't think I was supposed to. Yeah. <laughs> oh, no. What have you opened, Mum? How, how far into that have you opened? <laughs> well, I've seen it. I was like, <laughs> what are you waiting for? She went, something off Amazon Prime. I said, okay, so you're waiting for something off Amazon Prime, yet you've opened a parcel that's been delivered by every that's got my name on it. And not and in you an opened Amazon Prime it. box. It's not in an Amazon Prime box. It's not got your name on it. Why have you opened it? I didn't think. I just, I just thought it was what I'd ordered on my Amazon Prime. I said, well, you know what? You might as well put it on now. I said, I'm not funny about hiding that for three weeks <laughs> and then just... gifting it to you on Mother's Day for you to all act all surprised. Oh my God, it's beautiful. Just put it on now. You're not getting anything else. <laughs> I love how you've just proper spat your dummy out there. I like, did. Go fuck yourself. Because I love buying gifts for people and yeah. I knew that on Mother's Day she'd be buzzing opening that and instead she probably just sat there looking at this box 
with utter shame and disgust at what she'd just done. <laughs> she ruined it. <laughs> ruined it for yourself. That's it. I'm done. I'm out. Do you know what I mean? No it's more got my name on it, Anne. You're not Michelle. She's not. She's not. She created a Michelle. She did, but she isn't <laughs> Michelle. I said to her, I said, that could have been anything. I said, that could have been sex toys or anything. Would you order sex toys to be delivered to your house? Well, that's what people do, isn't oh, it? But yeah, do you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like, it, it could have been passing. anything that I'd ordered <laughs> to go there, and she just opened it. Could have been anything. <laughs> that would have been fun. Hi, Michelle. Um, I've opened the package next one for you. Um, it's big and girthy. I know what I'm saying. It's a bit too small for me. <laughs> <laughs> You're trying to say, our oh, aunt's got a baggy fanny. That's not what I said. That's not the word. Stop putting putting words into my mouth that's not nice <laughs> well but if the shoe doesn't fit <laughs> <laughs> inside <laughs> your mum oh. listens she's gonna hate me she would never she'll deck me next time I see him the dentist can you imagine <laughs> I am the little prick <laughs> wanna fucking see it flash <laughs> 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 oh my um, god well i'm glad our mums had a lovely mother's day and i hope all the listeners had a lovely mothering sunday too and all the milfs out there why have you got to make it milfy every every milf's a milf yeah but why mums are beautiful it... there you go not all of them every single mum some have gunts some have what gunts what's gunts you know, like when they've got like a huge pouch and you don't know if it's the gut. Oh, or the, don't don't or the... be like that. That that's a battle scar. No, that's just women in general. No, I know, but that's like not ne- and even necessarily. I like... know, but it's it like you know, people get really insecure about the guns. Sometimes they haven't even had kids and they've got a, a gun. Yeah, well, yeah, be, yeah. I, I well, mean, I'm just saying that not all mums are beautiful. Same as not mums. all non mums are beautiful. All mums, I tell you what, they are beautiful. Pregnant women, every pregnant woman. I don't get your fetish with pregnant women. Pregnant women are beautiful. When, when there's a, there's a stage, and they're just glowing, and I'm all for it for the mums. If you're a milf and you're feeling a bit, if you're pregnant and you're feeling a bit ugly. And Slide into the DMs. <laughs> what are you going to do? Tell her how beautiful they are. Bash the baby's head with your little touch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I, did, I wasn't expecting the conversation to go down. No. I'm not really prepared okay, for you it. Pick, you pick the next topic then. I'm not being a part of this. <laughs> Can a baby get deformed? But no. <laughs> By just some hardcore. By a three inch dick. By a three inch dick. Three point two inch dick, but eager. <laughs> a bit too it's eager. Not just average, a very eager three inch dick. What happened here? I we went know. from, oh, we had such a nice Mother's Day to, can a baby get poked in the eye by a three inch dick? <laughs> <laughs> Speaking from experience, no. Oh. <gasps> I can't cope. Um, did you see the uh, royal family's Mother's Day announcement? I saw the well, picture. Right? Can you do you know what's going on? Because I got a notification before on my phone something about um, news outlets have withdrawn the photo. What? 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 Okay, but I didn't read it because I'm too busy. So so big, what's um, going on here? There's a big conspiracy, right? And I don't, I don't know a great deal of detail here, mm. you know. But so bear with me. But the conspiracy is Kate Middleton is just disappeared. She was scheduled to she do had some surgery, didn't she? Yeah, so she she got she got taken away from doing. She cancelled all public engagements because mm. she was having surgery. And th- obviously, they're not going to say what the surgery is. And mm. with all due respect, is it anyone's? I can I can understand why people are like. Well, what's it about? Because like the the you know the, the kind of like a public servant mm. in a way. But so she went for uh, surgery, uh, abdominal surgery. All they said it was abdominal surgery. It's not cancer related, right? Do you reckon she just had a, a, um, a, a tummy tuck? No, when a you get cunt, your womb a, taken out, a hysterectomy. A cunt? No, I, I'm not gunt. A gunt. A gunt tuck. Gunt tuck. Um, pretend, no one knows. And to be fair, you know, it's not anyone's really. It's not really anyone's business. Yeah, but it's not. so she went for Who's two even weeks. Asked? Oh, well, there's that as well. No, I'm not personally, you know. Are you well? That's, that's you know that's all we care about. Um, <laughs> Are you well? Are we going to get an extra bank holiday this year? Yeah, I'd that's... rather we did, yeah, but yeah, I'd rather we did, like you know. So she goes for she goes for surgery and hasn't been seen since. And there's like mm-hmm. there is a, a whole conspiracy theory behind it, like about being kidnapped or about like 
there's, a, a, there's from everything from alien abduction to being killed to dying. There's literally conspiracy theory galore around this. Mm-hmm. I, 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 it, it's it's a, it, it can, it's a bit mind blowing, right? And then out of the blue on Mother's Day, she puts this picture up of her and her kids mm-hmm. saying. Happy Mother's Day to whatever, to all the mums. Yeah. Probably the mums. wasn't even here. There'd be someone that manages that account, but go on. There's got, yeah, so Happy Mother's Day to all the mums out there. I'm paraphrasing. I don't know the exact terminology she used. But, and then everyone started going, this picture's a bit dodgy. This picture's been edited. Oh, look, look. And it was like one of the lads, like, he's got his fingers crossed. And the, and people think, What's wrong? Wow. some people think that the picture is AI generated to stop all the conspiracy theories coming around yeah. and then some people are like i've spotted like editing mistakes like it's been cut and paste and all that oh. and it's mad in the technology that we've got which is so easy to edit pictures no one's gone has she not just got that google one where you can change people's like have you seen the the, the google phone and you can change and have like the best face yeah so if thing. i if we yeah. took a picture of each other but i look good on one yeah but you're blinking on it you can change your face yeah, to the yeah, yeah. one you like and no one said that. They've been like, oh, yeah, it's, it's, all, it's all superimposed. It's, it's not even a real picture. That being said, so media outlets then took the picture down because it violated uh, manipulation rules. So on their, like, on their own like, systems, mm. they, they found that it, the picture is edited. And they have apparently, <laughs> who knew, that media outlets have rules regarding how much a picture can be edited. Well, why do I always see the Kardashians everywhere? Exactly, right? So, <laughs> apparently there's rules of, of how much that can be. Mm. And they've took the picture down. Now, personally, I think they're just trying to put a bit of petrol on the fire. Yeah. But, um, so then, it's now come out. that So, to Kate announced that she did take the picture. Well, mm. Prince William took the picture. Yeah. And she edited it. For what purpose? So, what... what Probably to make sure, I think personally, just to make sure everyone's looking nice on the picture. You, you take it, you, you're a mum taking a picture with three like young it's kids. Probably are just because of the royal family. They're still like, there's, that there's Louis the, is a little wild cannon, isn't he? Yeah, exactly. I, I, I know what it's like. I, I, I always say to my kids, hey, let's take a picture without, without in a nice area. Let's take a nice little picture. And Ollie likes to bloody pull her face like a thumb. <laughs> and, and, jo- and George, I don't know what he likes to do. Looks like he's having a stroke sometimes. And you're like, you know, just smile nicely. <laughs> so I get it. If you're trying to take a picture with your children, one's going to be like, pulling a face. Mm. And if you've got an app that can sort of go, oh, we can use that one instead. Yeah. And it looks, it's a nice picture. But people, it's just fuel people. People like become obsessed. Like, oh yeah, it, it's it's all to do with she's been killed or being kidnapped. And they're just doing Do you reckon just doing she's this? not okay and they have just put it out to... to- I just I Calm think down the the fire. Everyone's it's got their own escalated. like. I, I mean, personally, I don't I don't care. I'm not going to lose sleep over it. I just think she took a nice picture. She wants she wanted to take a nice picture. She couldn't take one picture where all four of them are, are happy with it. Cause you know what women are like when they're taking the pictures. It's hard way. I've seen it. I've seen. I've took your pictures and you're like, no, don't like that one. Take another one. No, don't like that one. Take and you're like, for fuck's sake. <laughs> or like when we go out for food and you're like, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me take a picture. I'm like, Michelle, we're in fucking Pizza Hut. You did. We were in Pizza Hut. I was like, Michelle, I'm getting a bit hangry. I'm about to fucking launch the table. Let me eat my cheesy bites. I wanted to tell the listeners that we were having cheesy bites. I don't think they're asked. Well, they might have been. Tell them on here. This is what it's for. We had the cheesy bites once and we had half and half and it was too spicy for him. It's all for it. We got garlic bread and oh, wings. We did have a spicy one. It was a bit. I did have a kit. Can't do spice. Um, it was great, to be fair. We should do it again sometime. Yeah. Anyway, so she's come out to say the picture is taken. I've edited it and all that. Um, I'm, I'm sorry for any confusion. And people, but so people believe though that nah, I'm not buying it. It's all AI generated or it's, mm. it's all this. She's actually, you know, died or she's actually done this. She's actually mm. done that. And you're like, I think, right? Let's just let's just appease the conspiracy theorists. Mm. Let's just say. That's true. For the second, let's just say she's been abducted by aliens. And the palace are like, we should make a picture so it looks like she's just at home, happy with the kids and all that. But it, how long is this going to carry on for? How long will we know, just get an AI-generated pictures while she's in fucking Mars? No, but let's just say it was, right? 
and they're doing that. She's in Mars, and they're going, let's just make, an, uh, let's just airbrush a picture together, Photoshop a picture together, just to, you know, keep people quiet. It, it will be watertight. There will not be a single error. The royal error. family can afford anyone exactly. to edit their photos. It's not gonna, there's not going to be, they're not just going to go, ah, oh, that looks sound, that'll do, fuck it, put it out. It will be watertight. There's not going to be any error on it. Mm. No one will be able to look through that and go, that's an edited picture. Mm. So the fact that, if there is edited, well, it, it, they've confirmed it was, and there is mistakes, maybe just goes, do you know what? Maybe we're all just making a big mountain out of a molehill here. Mm. I I just I also think like, I mean I get people have their own opinions of the royal family and all that. I'm not getting into it, but why are you are photo again? Cause it's I a nice picture. Not, um, I get it. You know you you've got your family there and everyone's having a little good <laughs> time and you know you want a nice picture. I tried to get one of me and the kids at Christmas. It took a few times. You know, it's a nice picture. It's a nice picture. Have you seen it? Have you got it? Yeah, but I want to see what. Do you know what I mean? Like, what bits are they saying? Because if I look at that picture, so, I just, I wouldn't look and think, that's edited, that. Right, so... It is a bit weird that his fingers are crossed. I think one of his fingers are missing, unless it's like... It's, it's like crossed like this. Kids do mad stuff, right? Yeah, it's so the one like that. So Princess Charlotte's arm is meant to be... the There's, there's meant to be an error. Like, there's a bit that fades and it doesn't align up properly. So zoom in on her. skirt a, looks a bit weird, actually. Let's have a look. The skirt there, it doesn't line up properly. So apparently it's it's down here. She's a young girl, stay up top. Exactly. Like, who's zooming in at this bit? But So apparently it's there. You know where her arm is? You can see her arm there. Oh, you can see where her arm is? Yeah. So that part of the arm doesn't align. Oh, uh, okay. So it's like little things like that. And it's like, also, her hands. Who's yes. zooming in on that part of her body? No, it's Absolute weird, nonsense. So if, you've, if you've been the person who zoomed in and found that, check your fucking hard drive. Yeah, it doesn't. I mean, pff, looking at it, I think it's a, bri it's a brilliant picture. It's a picture. I wouldn't look at that and go, that's edited. I wouldn't look at that and go, she's clearly on Mars. The story is. I've People edit it. You, have you ever edited a picture before posting? Absolutely. You love a filter. I know that. I do love a filter. You love a filter. I yeah, like legs out there, everyone. I, I know. Yeah, I'm so sorry. I've got an itchy leg, <laughs> <laughs> but I want to like proper scratch it. Um, <laughs> want to get in the deep. I am a twat for a filter. You love a filter. I feel I'm really conscious about the pores in my skin, and I know that it's super normal to have pores, but I think it's really also difficult when you've got people like the Kardashians and stuff who do super edit everything and they look perfect yeah. all the time. And I just look in the mirror and I think, oh. Yeah, but I think if you looked at them in real life, if if, if the Kardashians well, when you were see, Have you seen yeah. that picture of them before they had all the work all done? The work. Yeah, they're like different people. Oh, my God. Kim Kardashian looks like Jafar from Aladdin. One of them had a dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, we're not talking about the dad. <laughs> the mum. I don't know what to Caitlin. Say. One did have a dick. Do you hear my fucking filter kicking halfway through saying that? Like, <laughs> <laughs> so that was very unsafe for you. Well done. I'm proud. That was cancelled. You cancelled. I didn't say anything. No, I was I talking about the girls. I just well, mean, like, no, first of all, disclaimer. Like,. <laughs> Your point was all the work done. Well, there you go. There's a yeah. fine example. I reckon if you were all sat here right now, mm -hmm. one would be questioning, like, the fuck are you doing here? But thanks. And um, But the second one would be like, I think you'd look at them and go, oh, my God, they've got pores on their faces. Everyone's got pores. Is that what you said, I know, pores? but when you, yeah, but when you see them in magazines and on their social media, it's they don't, it's perfect. I know, I, but this is the society that we live is. in. It's an it's unrealistic. It's really difficult to try and be your authentic self. And feel valuable. I think you should just be you. I think you're beautiful exactly the way you are. Stop flirting with me, John. I meant you, <laughs> generally speaking. Oh, but yeah, you oh as well. yeah, everyone. Sorry. No, you. Of course it wasn't me. <laughs> of course it wasn't. You do look better on Instagram. Am I messing? <laughs> <coughs> I think. Um, oh, I don't know what I look like now. But you know what? There well, are. You look fine. There are pictures it. on my Instagram where they're not filtered, and I think it just purely depends on the light. The lighting. 
is key. It's a, oh, it's a, do you know what? If you go back, not even that far ago, if you go back to like early 2000s mm-hmm. where you had to take a picture and take it home and then forget about it and then remember yeah. you just took the picture, so you take it to the Kodak shop and get them delivered, uh, get them printed and delivered. Mm. You've only got what you've got. And if no one was looking, it is what it is. It's a picture. But... There is in society this day and age, and such. I, I mean, I'd hate to be a woman, right? Because a bloke's a bloke. There is, mm. there is something. I'll come on to that in a bit of, 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 of uh, expectations for blokes, but for women, like every, does it, there is. I mean, I've shown you a few, and 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 bless her. There's a girl on my Instagram that I've shown you, um, and it's so edited because I know she doesn't look like that in real mm. life. And you do want to message and go, do you know what? You are beautiful the way you are. Mm. You don't need to. And to be fair, I I don't know, like, who am I, you know, with all my stones in my glass house right Mm. now? But, like, sometimes it looks worse. There's a girl I know Mm. who edits her arms. She makes makes her arms. I've had friends do that, though, You don't need to. Your arms are your arms. I think the only thing I've ever edited on my body is we'd gone, um, me and the girls had gone away, and we'd gone to a hot tub, and they'd taken a picture of me from behind, but me thong bikini was a little bit skewed. <laughs> Every lad with. This it right wasn't. Now going, Hold on, let me just go it, to it wasn't perfectly straight. It was a little bit skewed, with, and I was like, I'm fucking fuming at that. My mate was like, Don't worry, I'll fix that for you. <laughs> me thong bikini was straight. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, How have you even just done I that? I mean, you can, you can, you, you can do, you can do all. I just think like, you are, you are. Just, just be proud of who you are. You're beautiful as you are. Mm. But I mean, I does it, does it, you know? And a lot of it is uh, there's lads I speak to as well who are also insecure. Like one yeah. of my best mates, really insecure about his hairline, and I'm mm-hmm. like, mate, your hair's sound. Stop fucking worry about it. He's talking about going turkey, getting a transplant. My mate, you, you just don't need to shave it all off. And I, I don't think you'd do that to be no. fair. Um, but you just don't need to. But society have this set of benchmark to say you have like I've got my own insecurities. Mm. Do you want to disclose them? Or? My teeth. I hate my teeth. Yeah. You know, I, um, other than that, I'm pretty fit. Yeah. I'm at least a solid six. I Seven and a half with personality. I think the only thing that ever really bothered me was my forehead. Hate it for lost four stone. <laughs> four stone. <laughs> um, I've got quite a big forehead and it's actually really like <laughs> wrinkly. It's, it's quite a lot of lines and it might not look like it at the minute and I'm not scared to admit that I do get a bit of Botox in the last couple of years I've started getting Botox in it and it is moving again now um, Look surprised Because I think I got it done for I think it was my birthday So it was October so it's been months since I have it ah, it's just, um, it's So I might get that like once, twice a year but aside from that, like, yeah, I'd like my nose to be a bit thinner, but you know, it's my nose. nose. You know, it's your and nose. I do. I, I think I do calls me frosty embrace the snow, everything with my else. Nose. Oh, it's not orange. And, but he says it's big. Yeah. I mean, I think it's in proportion with your face. It is. You're trying to say I got like a big face. I've got a big face. Well, it's bigger than mine. I have to get um, a big, got, big I embrace helmet. the penis in comparison to you. <laughs> <laughs> I, do you know when you go like to like go kart and that and you're like, mm. is, it, is a helmet? <laughs> XXL. <laughs> I leave that. Like, it's in. <laughs> um, it's not the first time you've said that. <laughs> with such joy, I th- I just I think I know everyone ed- edits pictures. I just think you should just embrace who you are. Mm. There, there's a girl I speak to who's like, oh, I just hate the way I look, and it's always like, oh, I hate the weight I am. Uh, I hate this. I hate that. And it's like, honestly, and most of it as well. I'm sat there thinking, I think you're quite fit to be honest. Mm. Like, but I do say that about ninety percent of people I know. So she's texting me. She's alive. <laughs> 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 she texts back you are in the 90 percent. congratulations um no i, no, I, I, think, I think everyone's, everyone's in beautiful the in their own little ways they? and i know i sound like little, little nah, but i does I, I genuinely think ev- you know everyone's got their own little quirks about them mm-hmm. i know everyone has their own insecurities but that's just like society but if if instagram didn't exist or if any social media mm-hmm. didn't exist i don't think insecurities would be so high yeah but like when it's little things like, oh, I'll just make my arms a little thinner. Like, you don't need to. No. Or like, oh, I'm just going to put, there is a filter that makes your face look like smooth. Mm. And most of the time it's like, yeah, but you can, everyone knows it though. Do you know what I mean? Like everyone knows. 
I, I, in fact, I actually pretty, I'm pretty sure that on Instagram it says what filter you've used. Only if you use a filter on Instagram. On it, yeah, but so if you do it... To so say, if you were to use one on Snapchat and post it on Snapchat, that grasses you're in as well. But if you took it on Snapchat and saved it to your camera roll and then shared mm. to TikTok or Instagram or Facebook, it won't tell you. I was talking to... Um, I used to go out of it, to be fair, many moons ago. Um, I don't <laughs> just stay in touch with people. We, 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 we got started speaking... Um, I don't know, a couple of weeks back. And, um, you no, know, because I'm like a local local celeb yeah. now and everyone's like getting on me. No one is. <laughs> <laughs> Why did you say that? You could have left that and I just been a man of mystery. I, I, no, because then people have people gone, oh, fucking hell, he's full of himself, isn't he? I'm not. Just fucking hide, beside, <laughs> hide behind a persona. Um, anyway. I so, don't use filters. I just hide behind this. I was, I was talking and then it come up like on my memories and it was a picture of me and her. Mm. But it was filtered with the fucking ear ones. Oh, like, no, the, like the, the dog ears. No, the teddy bear ears, oh, like yeah. or something. And it had like fucking pink, sp- like star shapes all over it. And I sent it her and I was like, this would be such a good picture. But because you insisted on this filter because it gave you a jawline you were you liked. You and to be fair, gave me one too. And I was like, I do have a good jawline on that fair. picture. But I don't want the fucking ears or the pink sparkly bits around my cheeks. I'm part of a It'd photo a editing group on Facebook. And obviously, one, I can't edit. Two, I would never ask someone to do it. But what I do love is when people post asking for certain things to be done. And it gets done. And it blows my mind. Some of the edits are fucking phenomenal. So there's the or it'll be like, can you remove this family member out? And it's a huge group f- picture. Yeah, yeah. And I can't. I mean, obviously, I'm not very observant because I didn't get onto anything on the Cape Middleton one. But it's perfect. Like that person's gone, gone moved and up. Like moved. the genuine ones like that, are, uh, they are mad. Or it's like, oh, this is my wedding picture. But would you be able to add this picture of my nan into yeah. it, who passed away, and it looked great the way they do it? Yeah. Flip side to that, have you seen the funny ones where it's like? Yeah, can you put some, me me and this person the same height, and it just like chops off the legs or something? Some girl the other day, she she had like this. Go- I don't know if it was like a prom dress. She looked beautiful, and her hand was just up like that and a bit awkward. And she was like, "Oh, can someone move my hand down?" Obviously, meaning down. They just <laughs> took a whole hand off, and it was just on the floor. <laughs> Yeah. Or, or, or it's like um, they'll just extend the whole arm all yeah. the way down. So I do that. I'll read the post. I go straight to the comments and we see what's been flung in there. I like the ones Love where it. it's like, can you put it so I'm touching the Eiffel Tower? <laughs> and it, it'll have like, it'll just make the Eiffel Tower like dead small. I just put it on the finger or something. I look, the funny ones are really good. Yeah, I, 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 I want to get it up now, but like. <laughs> you can, you'd save that to you for. For later. Save that, save that for private time. <laughs> you get that up at home. <laughs> I no, I love um, a funny edit. I've done a funny edit. I'm going to see Go if on. I can find it that quick. Um, What's your funny edit? A funny edit. <laughs> because so, although I'm sitting there going, you don't need to edit your pictures. Mm. I will do a funny edit. Let me see. Right, it was in a chat. So do not press anything when I when I show you this because I won't. It, it's in a chat, <laughs> and they'll know I'm looking. Are we not going to share it with the listeners on the YouTube channel? Yeah, I will. I just don't know how because I'll have to. Um... Can you screenshot it? No, not no. no. What apps it on? <laughs> um, Snapchat. So I can take a picture of it off your phone. So I was like, I was like, yeah, I've been going to the gym, been losing weight. Like, do you want to see my progress pictures? And she was like, yeah. So I was like. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Let me take a picture. I'll of just that ask, now. I'll just say to her, I'm going to screenshot it and I'll, I'll put it. I'll put it in. Well, I'll just take a picture. No, she won't mind if I screenshot that. Oh, you can see my hands. It's. I'll, I'll so I'll I'll message her in a bit and say, listen, I'm just screenshotting this for me part. She, um, she listens. Oh, so. okay, that's fine then. So. Okay, now all that drama. So now I've just I'll got just, a picture I'll, of you. <laughs> Yeah. Heads on the shoulders. <laughs> of Usher. <laughs> did she appreciate it though? Because yeah, it is so. quite funny. I think she did, yeah. I can't remember if she um she put, Oh god, it seems you've changed race. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you'd just, just look How's that? It? No, it doesn't. What are you on about? Where on earth are you? My head fully blends in there. <laughs> There's literally not an a, a, an error in there at all. Um so, 
I, I love a funny <laughs> edit. I'll do my own funny edits. Yeah. I will. I, there's, there's loads that I've done where I've put someone else's faces on on things. Like, do you know when you see, like, in, in magazines where it's like, guy shoves cream egg up ass. Yeah. And it's got, like, the person's face and it's just and like, they look like the type of person. Over it. And of course, I'm just going to put my mate's face over that and put it straight in. I feel like I've done stuff like this before, but I can't think of any examples. I've done all sorts. Especially when it's like, um, now, now I've just Or if we it. have like little nights out, but one of the group can't make it, I'll just fling their head in or I'll just draw them as a stick man. I, do you know what? Speaking of editing pictures, so um, I did Snowden, mm. walked up Snowden um, for, we were raising money for my mate, right? And one, who are those psychopaths? Who goes what, they just do that for fun? Oh my God, absolute knobheads. Who wakes up in the morning and goes, I know, I'm just going to fucking walk up a mountain. I think you're a psychopath. I've got a couple of mates who do that. Hate them. Pricks, right? It was the worst thing. It's right. extreme. Let's not use that. Oh, you don't. I just use that as throwing away. <laughs> <laughs> um, right. So, first of all, let me just exp- explain going mm-hmm. up Snowden. And I'm sorry for me tangent I'm about to take is on. You park up in the car park, right? Yeah. And then it's just uphill. And I mean I mean, up, it's a mountain. Of course. And it's up. It is. It is aeroplanes don't take off that steep it is up and and you get into the top and i was like honestly i was i was dying my legs were killing me my back was killing me i just was like i can't do this Stop and, it. and then i was like and then everyone was like congregating at the top and i was like is this what it's like all the way up i'm, I'm knackered and someone went right someone went and people have done snowden but back me up with this they go we've not started yet that's just getting out the car park what? And you get up this to top of this hill, this mountain, this fucking Everest, right? Everest. And there's a little sign saying, Snowden, start. Stop and it. it was. You come out the car park, you go down past a few shops and that, and then it's up, and that's just to get to the start. And I, I was dead at that point, and I was like, Did All you right. carry on? Yeah, because we're determined, right? I, I was determined, right? <laughs> I'll have a helicopter come and get me. I don't care. <laughs> I'll get to that. In I'll a get up. <laughs> so... We were going. I I just had a bottle of water with me. My mm. mum's boyfriend, who was doing it with, he had the rucksack on with all the food in it and all yeah. that. We did what people say is the easy route. Yeah, I'm going to argue it doesn't exist. There's no easy route up fucking Snowden. It was still like a fucking twenty mile walk uh. uphill, right? So we're going up, and uh, you know, I'm I'm going up at my pace. I'm not keeping mm. up with anyone. If I try keep up with anyone, You're gonna die. I'll just go. I'm not doing it. See the bit and. So people were walking ahead. My mum's boyfriend was stopping. I was like, no, just, just carry, carry on. on. I'll do it at my pace. Uh, long story short, they'd been up and down before I even got to the top. Right? Stop. <laughs> it literally took me like nine hours. We started at nine in the morning. I got back on. I got back to the car park at like five in the so evening. So you carried going up to the top on your own? On my own, right? Did you go to the top or did you yeah. say that you no, went no, to I the did. top? No, I did. I got photo evidence, right? Oh, because I'd have been like, yay. I'd have, no. That's where I'd have edited myself in. No, so Like a picture of my hand on the... Is that like a little table yeah, thing that you touch? Yeah, some like that. Um, some clouds. There's like a bit you have to... I'll, I'll, I'll go through each stage. So we're go, I'm going oh, off. Sorry, I didn't realise <laughs> yeah. there was stages. Stop, stop Buckling, ahead. gang. Yeah. We've got stages. <laughs> Chapter two. <laughs> and um, so I'm going... This is, very, this is like... like, like 12 months ago 18 months ago so we're going i'm going up on my own at this point and mm. i'm just like just I, I, you know let's just get up let's just get up let's just keep doing it one foot in front of the other um and then at the halfway point there's mm. a shop and i was like right i'm gonna have a little, like a little corner shop yeah 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 little londis <laughs> yeah it, it's not a lot it's just like a little thing and i was like how the fuck did they do imagine that commute to work mm. like oh, but, yeah, how do they get there well i asked the question i was like do you just have to walk up here every day they're like no no we, we just get the quad bike it's like oh can i borrow it apparently no they needed it to go quad home bike. so That's i got a soup good. Soup. Just a soup, just to warm yourself. And another like thing I'm spewing about, soup. you can pay on card. I had no phone signal to transfer the money. <laughs> you know, you're just like, I've, I've, I've not got any money on my Apple Pay. I have to go into my other account. Oh, my God. Trying to get a fucking phone signal when you're 23 miles up in the sky. And you didn't paper. take cash? No, I didn't, I didn't. I didn't know there was a shop halfway up Snowden. If That's you think fair. about going up Snowden, there's a shop halfway up. Anyway, eventually it works. I pay. I get. I get me a little cup of soup, and I just thought, just grab this to warm up. Cause what flavour was it? It's like just tomato. Ugh. I honestly, I, it could have been throw up for all I care. It was warm because it was pissing yeah. down. Um, and so, right, let's carry on. So 
let's get to the yard bit. So you go on for a bit further, and then you turn mm. a corner, like under the. There's a railway tr- bridge, by the way. There's a train that takes you from she the bottom. Have jumped to the top. off it by the sounds of it. <laughs> so I'm going up, and it was it was killing me. And every knobhead you pass yeah. lies to you. They'll go, "Oh, you're nearly there, mate." Bear in mind, in the clouds, you can't see shit. It's literally just five minutes over there. It's fucking not. No, it's not. <laughs> They're trying to encourage you, yeah. but that's the no, worst. Like, don't Lit- lie to you. Literally me, just five honest. minutes over there. I was like, a bloke said that to me half an hour ago, you little liar. No, it's not. And then I, and then my mum's boyfriend was coming down this way we crossed paths. And I was like, someone said it's just five minutes up here. And he was just like, it's not. It's fucking ages, actually. You've got, <laughs> oh, you've got at least an hour to get home. Oh, I was like, no. And it was killing me. And I was like, I'm just... And so I went a little bit, had a little sit down. Went a little bit, had a little sit down. Some kid with fucking cerebral palsy skips past me. (laughs) 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 I can't cope. Neither can I. Skipped. Skip past Are you me. You being uh, two kids with cerebral palsy. Skip. <laughs> well, I say skipped. He was getting dragged by his mum and dad. I spilled my- <laughs> <laughs> they were holding his hands, and I was just like. And then his dad went. When we get to the top, we would you like to have some warm ribena? And I went. Oh, that Why sounds- was he speaking to him like that? He's got cerebral palsy. <laughs> oh. What the kids with cerebral palsy? No, no, the dad. Da- the dad had cerebral palsy. <laughs> no, that was the dad spoke cerebral palsy <laughs> to his cerebral palsy son. I don't know. That's what it roughly translates to. He was like, "Would, would you like?" He was like, "He was a Tory," um, <laughs> and, it, and I and I just thought I'd gag in because everybody else I spoke to on the way up, by the way, everyone's dead friendly and chatty. So I was like, "Oh, that sounds amazing. Can I have some?" And he looked at me like I just held him a fucking dead hamster. Harold was back. <laughs> don't know why. <laughs> I'm sitting there. I'm just like. I was like, I was, I was just, I was just, <laughs> never mind, just carry on. And then, to make it even worse, bear in mind, it's pissing down, it's, I'm piss wet through, my fucking calves are rubbing together like there's no tomorrow, <laughs> fucking chafing for days, some old bloke in his 50s, wearing shorts and a vest, comes jogging past me, I couldn't, if I had the energy, I'd have kicked him off, just there and then, right? I get eventually after about another two hours. I get to the top just as sun was going down. Though, right? I get to the top, and there was a fucking train there. What? And I was like, I, "What and to bring you down?" There was a train. There was a train, right? And I was like, "What's the train for?" They went, "Oh, you can get on the train if you want to go back down." So I was like, "Right, I'm going to go get my picture at the top while we're here, and I don't give a fuck if I'm raising money." Were you money. thinking all the way down or halfway? No, down? No, no, I was getting all the train all the way down to the bottom. Yeah. So I was like, "I'm going to go up because you have to queue up. Once yeah. you get to the top of Snowden, you have to queue up to get to the peak to take your picture at the top." Oh. I didn't give a fuck. I wasn't queuing. I was like, I was like at a buffet. I was like, "Fucking move! <laughs> <laughs> take, you're not taking the last fucking Yorkshire pudding, you knobhead." So I got up, and everyone was looking at me, going, "You, you, you can't do that. that, right?" So I got up, I just fucking whizzed my phone out, selfie style. I look half dead. I don't think I've got the picture on my phone. I'll, 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 I'll get it tomorrow off the PC. Mm-hmm. I took my picture, walked back down. Train's gone, and there was these two like <laughs> scouse blokes, and I was like, "You're right." And he went, "You're on your own, are you, lad?" And I was like, "Yeah, yeah." Um, how'd you get the train? He went, "Ah, oh, that was the last one." I broke down crying. Stop it, did you actually I, I cried cry? my fucking eyes. I, I sat on a rock and I just cried. And the lad came up to me and, what the fuck is the lad? And I was like, I can't do it. I genuinely thought, I was like, oh, if I throw John. myself off the edge here now, they'll send a helicopter. <laughs> and the lad was like, obviously didn't know what to say or do. And, do you want a bevy? <laughs> and I'm sitting there going... I've not been able to fucking eat a thing up here because I think I'm going to throw up. And he's there with a fucking crate in his bag, which he's dragged I up. wasn't even allowed a warm Ribena before. <laughs> and he's offering me a fucking beverage, a fucking alcohol. I was, and I was like, I don't drink beer, mate. I don't like the taste and I don't really feel well and I just want to go home. Oh. And then I thought, I've got to get back down. I've got to get back down this fucking mountain now. How long did it take you to walk up it? Right, I reckon it took me... 
So you know, so I started. I know I started at nine, and I know I was back on the coach just after five o'clock. Mm. I reckon it took it took me longer to get it up. Weirdly, it's so much easier downhill, though. Right, it is. I I, I skipped down. Yeah, me and cerebral palsy lad, we skipped down together, holding hands. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, as we roll my warm Ribena. So I skipped down. I was like, I'm just, I'm just fucking plowing. I didn't even stop at the shop. Mm. I was just fucking getting straight through. My toenails were killing me because it was just pure in your sh- coming down yeah like. and then i get on the coach and honestly i i, I, I there was like just a fucking i had a load of butties and everything and i reckon i had about two thousand calories on that but my, my watch told me it was like you've burned a lot of a lot of calories today and i was like well i'm about to two thousand calories isn't a lot though isn't men supposed to have two thousand five hundred a day yeah yeah well i consumed so that if in about you've 10 done minutes. snowden that's oh, fine i, I burned like nearly ten thousand calories doing so i don't think that's, I, I, that's gonna, a thing i've got a picture of it somewhere i think that's very dramatic i'm gonna get it i'm gonna edit it in I'm, I don't know how I, I feel you like can't I'm, burn 10,000 calories that's not a thing right wait there wait there because I've still got it on my phone I'm just I'm, I'll tell the story why I find it when so, did you go type in your search but oh yeah just type in Snowden that'll come up won't it in your locations um, but I would bet money that you cannot burn 10,000 calories so how does your watch know how many calories uh, you've burned I don't know I'm not going to ask it it's weird isn't it I'm just going to um, just make stuff up people go oh I've done this many steps oh I've burnt this many calories why are we listening to watches so oh yeah show more it'll be on there show more right so uh, why I get this up I went in I'm going to I think it was 2022 here it is Oh, yeah, because there's two. I went, and I know the day I did it. It was the day before my birthday. Oh. <laughs> my birthday. Right, so, also my watch paused halfway through. So the first six kilometres, I uh, total calories was 1,800 calories. And then the next 11.2 kilometres mm. was total 2,000. All right, maybe I was way off with the 10,000 <laughs> calories. So that's like... Um, 3,000 calories, 4,000. 3,400, 3,500 calories. It's still a lot, anyway. So I'm on the coach, and I'm scoffing my face, and I'm just I'm just in bits, right? I was sore. I know everyone's coming back, and the coach's like, the oh, worst. you should have come to the pub afterwards. I was like, you should go fuck yourself. I'm not going anywhere. They brought me a drink back, to be fair to him. Um, and they're like, how are you feeling? And I was just like, don't fucking talk to me. So moral of the story is, any of those dickheads, <laughs> who do, why do people do that for fun? I'm not doing that again. There is not a reason that I can think of. There is not a reason that will ever exist that will drag me up Snowden again. I don't think even when you have like a long soak in the bath after something like that, it still doesn't fix you. But is that because we're unfit and the people that do it all the time, their bodies are resistant to it so they don't get aches and pains? Like, do you remember the other week when we were here and I did four runs of the corridor? Oh, yeah, yeah. My thighs were sore the next day. (laughs) Four (laughs) laps. Yeah, well, what was that? Six? I did one point... 17 kilometers. I must have done about 300 meters of running and I had a sore thigh. Well, (laughs) multiple. Well, a sore thigh. Plural. Four thighs. Four thighs. Four thighs. Four thighs. How many? uh, uh, 11, 17.2 kilometers, but also there was a gap. So probably about 20k walk that. It's fucking horrible. It's a lot. And I, I can't even remember the whole reason why we went, why I started talking about going on Snowden. No, I can't. What was I talking about before then? Um, I was. <laughs> Whoa! How did we get on this? I had to go up Snowden. Fuck knows. We can't rewind. I'm so sorry. We were talking about the Snapchat picture and about you getting in shape. Was it about that? But you didn't do that. To, I don't oh, know. Why I edited the picture? <laughs> so yeah. my mum then goes to me when I got back. Oh, I really wanted a picture of you and John at the top of Snowden together. And I thought, with all due respect, because I love my mum, she's an absolute saint, fuck mm. right off. Yeah. I was like... He went too fast for he me went and too I fast. missed the I last train. I, if, if someone would have pushed me just that little bit more, I'd have fucked it off. If someone was with I me... I thought you meant over the cliff edge. I'd have been fucking <laughs> I'd thankful. I'd have not stopped myself honestly, from falling. <laughs> honestly, if, I got it in that moment. Honestly, I swear to God. Um... And also, if, if it had been with anyone who would have just just suggested should we turn back, I'd have gone. Yeah. So but I no had to do it on my own. Known. No, no, but I, I would like have. My phone died. I would have. I was raising money. Like I had to do it charity work. 
It's okay. Well, you've still got your sponsorship. I know, but I, I had to do it. You know, it's just one of them. I had to fucking mm. just do it. And everyone was like, you were you were the inspiration. You you were inspiring me to, to just keep going. I thought, if you're doing it, I'm doing it. I was like, do you mean if, if I'm doing it, you're doing it? You'd fucking been up and down by the time I got off. I was I was still at the shop. You're on your way back down. In fact, the first guy I saw, a lad called Dan, one of my mates, I thought he'd given up. Because I'm sat at the shop drinking my cup of soup. And I was like, oh, you, you're giving up, have you? And he went, no, I've already done it. <laughs> He's on his way And I was like, you're taking the fucking piss. <laughs> well, I'm having a soup. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a soup and a fucking breakdown here. <laughs> Um, so I got home <laughs> and I edited the picture of so John had one of him yeah and I had one of me and I edited the picture mm-hmm. and put his picture in the background of me yeah I will put me in the in do you know what I mean yeah. so it's it looks like it and, and I you changed, can do that on iPhone you can just hold the person down and it you I can did it on a, it and paste I, it I think I did it on Adobe um oh, <laughs> man, man's not uh, considering I don't edit pictures I can know how to do it yeah um and I edited the picture and I changed the color in on mine so it blends in mm. and it looks like if you looked at it you're like oh no that, that was clearly taken at the same yeah. time but it's not it's two edited pictures love that so that's on you what what a way to round all that I went round the houses with that I say what I did I went up and down snowed with that that story it was horrible don't ever do it honestly if someone says do you want to watch Snowden for charity I might just I'd rather just give it to charity and yeah just, walking's not for me and, and send me a picture of yourself I'll photoshop you in mine we can say we're both at the top I drive to Lauren's and she lives two streets away from me oh, I'm all for it no. although that, I think that's when I started putting weight on when I got a car because I used to fucking walk everywhere mm. then got a car and I was just like <sighs> well I haven't got that issue so I still get me takeaways and drive everywhere one day I might get chunky but that day's not here yet. Chunky but funky. Like the cha-cha slide. This time, slide to the left. Everybody get funky. Bum, bum, that was horrible. That went through me. What, funky? The way you said that then. You, you said that last time when I was going to... Don't, because it's it's right down my ear. And it's a weird I keep forgetting, noise. I keep forgetting you wear... Uh, you wear the headphones We've had in this podcast. Yeah, I wear the My mum asked me why don't I wear headphones. I was like, because Michelle does. My mum's asked the same, but so have a few of the listeners as have well. They? But I don't wear headphones because I just don't want to. I've, I've not got the head for headphones. I don't have the head for hats. I think, though, if I didn't wear headphones now, listening to the sounds as we're doing it, it would feel weird. Probably. Oh. No, that's, see, so I you, think that's dead weird because it's just a normal so It's weird talking without headphones on with the headphones on. Am I freaking you out? A little bit. I can't hear how this sounds. What if this sounds awful now? What if we just ruin the whole pod? <clears throat> I'm a professional. Um, should we move on? <clears throat> yes. Uh, that's enough about photo editing. Do we have any confessions we this do. week, Michelle? We've got one. These are my confessions. Just when I thought I said all I can say, my chick on the side said she's got... Is that what it said? Do you know what we've one seen on last, the way. Last episode, it was like... Is that what it says? No, we were talking about getting the lyrics wrong. Yeah. I thought this when I thought I said all I could say was she got up. No, she's my chick on the side way. has got one on the way. Oh, right, okay. Because she got pregnant. That makes more sense now. <laughs> my chick on the side said she's got one on the way. Which means what that... What did you say? This when I thought... I, I just mumble it. I said all I can say was one on the way. she's got no other way. No other way? Yeah. Yeah, one on the way. She's pregnant. He cheated, didn't he? With he his, cheated. So basically, his what, what Usher is saying is there is he was cheating. He was uh, he was um, adultering during a relationship with somebody else who is now with child. I don't know if the child bit is true, but he was dating that chili from TLC. To me, to me, love and care. Yeah, to me, love and care. TLC tables, lads, and chairs. Yep. There's another TLC. Total love and care. What, what, when people say you just it's need a tender bit of t- love and care, tender love and care, right? Yeah, go on. Um, <clears throat> but he did cheat on her, so I assume obviously that whole album was off the back of that. And I've assumed that he did have a child with this girl that he didn't know. As the girl had a child. Well, this was fucking. That was like two thousand and. If on the off chance you come two, across this, two thousand and three. We'll Google this, yeah. but we have got a confession. Yeah, go on. <clears throat> so um, this is off the back of, I think it was episode 13, and we'd done a story about 
the guy who used Imac on his willy to moisturise oh, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So this has come in off the back of that. So they've put, hey. Sorry for the delay. <laughs> listening um, listening to the pod and it reminded me of something that happened to my mate in my first year of uni. My mate. We went to uni in York and it's a tradition in there to climb one of the statues outside of the minster um, of an old Roman emperor. What's the minster? The minster. It's like the like a cathedral like oh, a big right, building okay. like the oh, minster right, okay. um like westminster yeah oh, right, okay. but york minster um so you have to climb one of the statues outside which is of an old roman emperor and straddle it when you're drunk as you do as a uni student and <laughs> um, we all did it we took our photos standard practice but one of my mates wanted to one up on us all and climb over the fence of the minster and pose where you're not allowed to go I mean, hold on, just going to weigh in. Surely straddling the statue, you're not allowed to go there anyway, but this guy's just got another level. But if that's level. just there in the open public, like, do you oh, know so when he, we, wants to, he wants to be the big guy. Do you know like, when we go to Chester and they've got those little, like, statue elephants? No. You've never seen that? I'll take you now after the end. Oh, just take me on the way home, yeah, yeah. Um, I've straddled them, but I think if you're going over the fence, like, that's are. restricted, isn't it? <laughs> if you get, typically, if you, have to, if you have to climb the fence, it's trespassing. you shouldn't be there. <laughs> it's not allowed. So it says he wants to pose where you're not allowed to go. In trying to scale the fence, he slipped, pierced his ball sack with oh. the metal fence and split his bollocks open. <laughs> Oh, My bollocks just hurt. I think we needed to warn. We needed a warning. Trigger warning. A bit too late now. Oh. Man, I've just got in my stomach. I feel sick. Yeah, my, I've... <sighs> I think I'm going to throw up. Split his bollocks open. Stop saying it slowly. Hey, if you split a bollock open, does just pure cum come out? Like, if I took a little Stanley knife to your Tessie now... <laughs> <I> just... <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. At least buy me a fucking drink first. <laughs> <laughs> Would your kids just fall out? What would happen? I don't know. No? Right. Or it'll bleed. And then your kids... Where does the cum come from? <sighs> Shall I finish this story first and then we'll talk about... I'll, I'll answer it dead quick. Go on. Oh, no, I won't. It, it comes from the prostate. Or the... Yeah, the prostate. No, yeah. I think that's when you're getting your bum fingered. No, but that's... The, the prostate is a gland. And that's where the... So, the sperm cell... <laughs> the sperm cell comes from the bollock into the prostate. And and the actual But your prostate's in your bum? No, you can feel it through your bum. I'm just gonna double check on that for factual purposes. Oh, I'm gonna have to fucking Google it. Let me finish this story and whilst well, you Google yeah, go that. On. So he Male slipped anatomy. Don't Google that. In, he slipped, pierced his ball sack with the metal fence and split his bollocks open. He had a testicular rupture. It quite honestly was the most horrifying thing I've ever seen. He went grey and thought he was going to die. The doctors gave him a strict no sexy time policy for ages and he nearly lost one of his balls. Oh my God, he nearly got Hitler. Silver lining is he's now about to have his first child. Oh, so, so clearly no long-term damage. We all cringe when we walk past that part of the fence now. Oh. Was he dangling by the balls? Dangly balls. Dangly balls. <laughs> <laughs> so many callbacks to different episodes. Um, oh. So. That's not a confession. That's just more a story. Mind you, it is a confession. It is because he ripped us. I mean, it's not thick. It's they're telling a confession on behalf of someone else. Oh, imagine having to go into A and E and be like, "So what happened?" But right, right. So basically, right. I climbed a fence, and. Uh, Left the bollock there. I can just see the spike in the metal of the. F I know exactly what type of spike he slipped on. Do you know what? There was a kid. At Imagine these, hanging um, on by a thread. <sighs> it's not worth the thought. My bollocks hurting me. I've seen someone sent me a video. It's a lad like on a motorbike, and he comes off the motorbike and he lands on a fence and it chops his. <laughs> I, I think it's fake though because it was massive. <laughs> not that big. Was he black? No. Oh, oh yeah, definitely fake then. Um. And he and he just like got, gets up and he's like, "Oh no, me dick!" He goes and picks up his dick. And th that is not real. You, no one just gets up know. after that, <laughs> picks up the dick. I think it might. I don't be know. I, I don't like videos like that. So when I see what's happening, it's I'm just a Snapchat like, filter. Just, just <laughs> Snapchat filter. <laughs> <laughs> just Drake. It's just it's just me editing Drake's picture. <laughs> 
next. That's going to be my next one. <laughs> hey, girl. It's just Drake's body in my face. Like, hey. <laughs> um, oh, that, that is pretty disgusting. <laughs> um, what was I going to say? No, I, I feel sick. It is. It's the prostate gland that has. So, do you know... Um, I don't know how to say it without like one making myself cringe or two describe it in a way that's do you know the fluid the semen yeah the fluid ahoy all aboard <laughs> so the sperm cell goes into the fluid the fluid yeah. the, the fluids in the so the sperm cells the the, the wiggly worm it, it, it goes Tapple. through the little tube into the prostate gland that's what produces the the liquid that it comes out with so the tap balls don't just chill in that liquid? No, there's not just like a... I don't think there's... I, don't I thought in your ball sack it was just liquids and tap balls. No, no, the liquid's not in the ball sack. How long do tap balls live in your ball sack for before? Like, do you know what I mean? I don't know. So if you don't... If you're not sexual... Right, so say you're a 40-year-old virgin, like the film. I've seen it. What's happening with his tap balls? Blue balls, isn't it? But what's happening with them? Do they just sit there? It's just the same. I. It's just. And does it not generate anymore because then ones haven't come probably, out? There's probably a, a, a side. What yeah, the but if the tap ho- if the tap the holes are dying, where are they going? If they're not I'll coming out of your balance? Cerebral palsy kid up Snowden. So <laughs> what's in your balls? <laughs> um, I don't know. This is why we need someone into Google. If you would like to be a free person who wants to come and sit over there. Yeah, does yeah. anyone want to come and Google for us? You can sit and Google it. Oh, I'd love a Googler. <laughs> I've got a, st- love, love I've got a story about them. something I read the other day about a penis, and I don't know how true <laughs> it is. Read the other day. <laughs> Go on. Well, it was about two weeks ago, actually, but you've read. just sparked a memory. <laughs> I th- it was on Lab Bible or something. Oh, right, okay, okay. It wasn't like... Wasn't like Pornhub. Uh, yeah, it wasn't like the Independent or like the Encyclopedia. I didn't or think something. it would be. I didn't think the Independent would be going. It's a slow news day today. What have you got? Penis. Yeah, fuck it. Put it on the front page. <laughs> well, do you know like how it's shaped like a little mushroom and you've got like like a helmet? Yeah, like a little mushroom. So apparently, just for the record, that happens over time. I mean, I don't know how true this is. That happens but over time. It happens over time. So, like, maybe cavemen just had like a straight one, like a bar of rock. Yeah. And over time, it changed to have a little helmet, because apparently, what that did is it would. So, say if like I don't know, Dave's just shagged little Maria, and then like the next day you go in and shag Maria your helmet's going to pull his sperm out. Or like, do you know what I mean? So it's like, removes the other man's sperm to inject yours because of the shape of it. it you go in and then it pulls it out from the from the walls of the, the vatch. So even in Caveman Dave's, these hoes ain't loyal. Oh, <laughs> these hoes ain't loyal. Um, no, they ain't. So it's... <laughs> I, I, I just read it. I'm just sharing what I learned. This last five minutes it's just took a turn and But it's okay, you haven't gotta see me for another ten days now, so you'll have recovered in time, John. No, it's absolutely I fine. I don't know, I just don't know how I feel about that. Um No. No, just no. No. Just just, just imagine like Ha huh. <laughs> You're not getting pregnant by him now, I've scooped it all out and take that home. That's essentially what it said. It'd scoop out the other men, so it was like a competition that yeah, but You'd like, be, or it might be that like that would only work though on a on a. All right, maybe if it was like you went one? straight after. Who's going what? straight after? What do you mean a circumcised one? Well, if I, you're not circumcised, your your flappy skin isn't at the end; it's right back. So regardless whether you've got a foreskin or not, it's just your helmet inside, isn't it? I don't know. You I've haven't got your foreskin inside. flapping over it. I'm happy to be involved. I don't take notes. <laughs> well, I think you need to look at your penis if you don't understand no, how no, that no, works. I just, I just can't imagine it. To If you know. put your P in a V, mm. just pure helmet, isn't it? Yeah, fair. Pulling out next man's children. Just, just wait. Let, let her have a wash. Let her have a wash first. Let her take, put the bins out. Let her out. drip dry for a couple of hours. <laughs> put the bins up. out. Let the shit be collected before you go in. 
I'm just saying that's what I read. <laughs> and on that note, I think that's a pod. It is a pod, and I'm really sorry if I've lowered the tone there, but guess <laughs> you what? You didn't lower the tone. You just pulled the foreskin I'm just back sharing. <laughs> I'm just sharing information. Share the information. Sharing's caring. I, just, I, just don't, I don't have anything to add to that, <laughs> but I do have things that can take it away, apparently. <laughs> I've, I've, I don't know. I've never wish heard. I had a helmet like a little fireman. Little Sam. <laughs> In my head, I'm thinking like, do you know, like we say before about getting like surgery and all that. Mm. Do you reckon like, because there's like uh, there's people out there that will get surgery to have like a bigger dick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Would you call that helmet shopping? <laughs> <laughs> Little helmet shopping. What else could you call it? <laughs> I don't know. On that note, that is the end of episode 16. Oh, We've had a blast. If anyone wants to get in touch, you know where all of our socials are. Where are they? Drop us an email. What's the email address? In fact, stop it. Sorry. What was stopping? Five change at hotmail.com. Oh, oh. I nearly fucked that up. Then. I know, yeah. And that's your fault. It's not, but how do you spell the five in that? Five pence change at hotmail.com? Fit it, the eh. Fit it, fit eh. Get us on our socials, Instagram, TikTok. Holler at your... Gang, we the gang. Holler at the gang. Holler at your boys. Do you know when like your your, your mum tries to like act cool and it's just dead cringy? Is that me right now? That was you going holler at your gang. No. <laughs> and if you've got cerebral palsy, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Please skip past John and I'll give you 20 quid if you can provide me with photo <laughs> evidence, video Just evidence. Just be crying at the side of Anywhere you rock. see him, skip past him. I was in Profiteers. I, 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 Profiteers? That's like a, a Yorkshire's. That's like how you thought Henry VIII said about property. Profiteers. Yeah. I think you should invest your money in Profiteers. <laughs> Bet you the kids with cerebral palsy was crying out of his mouth, Stop wasn't he? Stop taking the piss out of cerebral palsy before we get cancelled. <laughs> I think I, to know what sometimes you've just got to say what you feel I need a wee so let's wrap up uh, it's been absolutely emotional see you next time ciao for now bye, bye.